Hello, this is Skywarp's Hangar, and today we are going to do something a little bit different. Usually I keep this channel about fun, and only fun, but there was something that I think we should also talk about. And you see we have some haulage! So, we have Detective Pikachu, so we're going to do some fun stuff, but we're also going to talk about something serious. Um, got Detective Pikachu today? Yes! And one of the points of this video is to hopefully try to teach you on how not to get scammed if you are on Facebook and if you are in the Pokemon community. We got our detective. Yay! You want to take a look at him? Yes, he is adorable. Um, first, I recommend joining Pokemon Trade Complaints International. If you are in a Facebook group and you plan to do purchases on Facebook, I recommend joining Pokemon Trade Complaints International. You can look it up. I'll put a link in the description and we'll be good from there. I also got Bulbasaur. Is that Bulbasaur? Yeah, I think that. Yeah, 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 yeah I got the name right. Um, yeah, so uh, that is uh, one of the steps you should take in protecting yourselves is joining Pokemon Trade Complaints International. It is run um, by volunteers. We just are there to help. You can see me there. My name's Steven. Hi. Um, some of you may know me already. Uh, <laughs> hopefully on good terms because I'm known as Shenron. And um, if you steal from someone within <laughs> the Facebook community, I kind of make your wish come true and make you disappear <sighs> from Facebook groups. Um, another step you can take is joining Pokemon Trade Feedback. And what that is, is that's a sister group to Pokemon Trade Complaints International. Uh, to find either of those, you can just look in the search. Uh, I will put the links to them in the description also, uh, for your convenience. Um, but if you're wondering if it's the real one or not, uh, Pokemon Trade Complaints International has around... 3,000 members, uh, so that'll give you a good idea. And Pokemon Trade Feedback, I think, has a thousand some. I'm not sure how many are in there because I'm not an admin there. Um, but yes, those are two of the first steps you should take to protect yourself if you are purchasing Pokemon cards in the Pokemon community. Because how would you be able to tell if someone's name is coming up uh, on, on the scammer list, I guess you would say, or, um, you know, the bad seller or someone that's going to just take something from you. Um, the next step, and this we have to say way too many times, uh, way more than I would like to. I wish everybody would follow this. But anytime you're making a purchase from a complete stranger or anybody you know, uh, always make it a habit to pay with PayPal and use goods and services. Pay them with goods and services. Now, uh, if you want to be nice and pay that little 3% that they're going to get charged because you're paying with goods and services, then feel free to do so. But really, you shouldn't have to. It's actually against PayPal rules for a someone selling to you to charge you that 3% fee. Um, but yes, if you are purchasing cards online and it is not through, uh, I guess you would say a portal like eBay where you're just buying directly from a person, I would definitely recommend use PayPal goods and services. Do not pay friends and family. You need the protection in place, both you and the seller, uh, both on the buyer end and the seller end. Uh, for a seller, the seller should uh, only accept payments buy goods and services uh, and if they're concerned about that little 3% that they charge they should add that into their price you know factor it in um, but yes make sure that you are using PayPal and you are paying <laughs> goods and services do not pay friends and family um, even if it's a friend you know even if you guys chat back and forth and everything but you know uh, I, I always recommend uh, goods and services. That way, if you run into any issues, then you do have protection in place. Um, 
the next thing, and this is really widespread in the Pokemon community, um, the 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 it, <laughs> people in the Pokemon community, and actually any trading card game community have a habit of just throwing cards in an envelope and putting a stamp on it and calling it a day. Um, I do not recommend that. I, I really, really, really do not. Um, if you are a buyer, I recommend any time that you are going into making a purchase, um, make sure that seller is going to provide you tracking. That way you can see that your item is coming your way, you know, and that's the same with trades. That's the same with anything. If you are a seller, you should always, always purchase tracking. I know it costs more than a stamp, but that protection in place to cover you is well worth it. That way, if someone says they didn't get it, then you can say, well, the tracking shows that you got it. And it will also show the weight of the item, if I'm not mistaken, and all that good stuff. So I definitely recommend tracking at all times. Anytime you are selling something to someone, especially, I mean, given the fact you are using PayPal, you have to have proof that you have sent an item. Um, same thing goes with trades. Um, trades is another one where, you know, someone puts something in the mail, they maybe send tracking or they did not send tracking and the other party never shipped anything and by the time they realize that this person hasn't shipped anything well they can't divert the package well if you would have if you were to buy tracking you can re-divert that package to come right back to you uh if the tradee does not upload their tracking so that's an, that's another reason why you always want to buy a tracking. You seem like Kitty Mew Mew. Um, but yes, you always want to purchase tracking anytime you're making a shipment. That that is big. That is huge. It'll it'll save you so often. Um, and I, I think I just touched on that trades. Um, one of the things that you can protect yourself with in trades is trading through PayPal. So here's the scenario. All right, so my right hand wants to trade my left hand, this Pokemon pack for this Pokemon pack. Now, my right hand knows that this pack is valued at 419. My left hand also knows that this pack is valued at 419. So basically what I'm going to do is the, oh, I'm going to pay my left hand 419 through PayPal and my left hand is going to pay my right hand 419 through PayPal. Now, if either of my hands don't ship to each other, then I can put in a dispute for my pack that I did not receive. And basically the way that would work is it's kind of like you sold an item and yes, you do lose out on whatever you were trading, but you do have the value of your items. So if, if my right hand wants to trade with my left hand, my right hand would send 419 in PayPal to this person. And that's of course goods, goods and services. My left hand would also send 419 to my right hand. So that way, when we ship it off with tracking, both parties get what they want. And if they didn't, then there's always disputes and you get your money back. Um, <clears throat> I can't tell you how much tracking will save you. Uh, I, I, I am an admin in Pokemon Trade Complaints International and I have come across many, many, many disputes. And that is one of the single most problems uh, that I can tell you is tracking and people not paying with goods and services. So if you are doing both of those, then you are in good hands. You, you are a step ahead. And I congratulate you because there's many that are not. I, I, we just ran into a guy. Uh, he sent off an envelope of cards. 
with four to six stamps on it, he could have bought tracking. Four to six stamps on these envelopes. So you add up the cost of stamps and he really could have afforded tracking. <laughs> it's like, why didn't you do it? Uh, but nonetheless, he wanted to go old school, I don't know, like it's the 80s or something. And yeah, he sent off his cards to this guy. And the other guy was the uh, person buying was supposed to send him cash. Same deal in a stamped envelope. Well, the cards are gone and no money comes in because you wanted to receive cash. Why didn't you just give the guy a PayPal address so he could pay the PayPal address and before you ship, a payment comes in? No. So, uh, he's pretty much out of his money. If he would have used PayPal, he wouldn't have this problem. Uh, and, and that's something else. That profile that didn't ship the money, if that seller would have done the due diligence and just done something simple as looking at the profile. Now, I admin a ton of groups on Facebook and we have to approve a whole bunch of profiles. Now, one of the things that I look for when I'm looking at a profile, do they have everything filled out? Does it look like a legitimate profile? I mean, someone could just make a profile uh, five minutes ago and try to sell you something and, or not sell you something, <laughs> basically. It doesn't take Detective Pikachu to figure that out. Um, but if you're looking at the profile, do they have a background photo? Did they take their time on their profile at all? I mean, it's kind of like a job interview, you know what I mean? Especially if you're a seller. If you're a seller, your profile is kind of like a job interview. So if you don't have a background photo, if you don't have, especially a profile photo, no one wants to deal with blank guy with blank face. Um, does this person have a profile photo? Do they have a background photo? Do they have any information on their page whatsoever? And yes, I understand that there are um, privacy settings, but even with privacy settings, you can tell if that's a um, real profile or not. You can tell if it's an active profile. You can tell if a person invests time into that profile. If they do not invest time in that profile, I'd run. I'd run for the hills as fast as I can. Um, and, and that's whether you are dealing with a buyer or seller. So if you're a seller and you're trying to gain a buyer, you know, I understand you're trying to sell your product uh, and you know someone came along with hopefully some money, but if you're following the guidelines before, you should be covered. But just as an extra precaution, who are you dealing with? Um, as a seller, you don't run into so much of an issue if someone, especially if you're taking payment before you ship, um, you aren't running into so much of an issue as um, a buyer. Now, for a buyer, if you're looking at the seller, this guy has a blank profile, look, run for the hills. It's probably a fake profile or someone that we've caught before. Um, just check out the profile. Uh, see if it looks legit, like a legit person. The next thing is search their name. If, especially if you're in a bunch of groups or several groups, search their name. Uh, search their name in Pokemon Trade Complaints International. If you're following this, then you should be in Pokemon Trade Complaints International and you should be able to see if there is anything uh, that anybody had any issues with, hopefully. Um, and the same thing in Pokemon Trade Feedback. Uh, look up that person, see if they have any verified sales. Um, that, that's a step in the right direction. So, uh, if you're doing these things, then hopefully you can avoid, uh, being stolen from. And that's kind of the point of this video is, um, try to protect yourself. Now, uh, me and several other people, I don't want to take all the credit because I shouldn't. Uh, there's a lot of people and we don't get paid. We volunteer our time, and that's what we do. We volunteer our time to help the community, and we hope that everybody can focus on having a good time in groups rather than us always having to focus on getting rid of the garbage. So that's basically the gist of it. Now, since I've taken up a lot of your time, we're going to do something fun. Uh, go some Pokemon packs.
might as well while I'm here. But yes, I definitely recommend um, following those steps. I mean, I had to make myself a little punch list to make sure that I got everything that I wanted to say. And I think I did. And there's probably some things I missed because this is only a 15 minute video and I've been helping with anti-scam for years upon years upon years. I mean, uh, several years, I should say. Not years. I've been doing this my whole life. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those things I probably couldn't tell you everything about within 15 minutes. Uh, so, I would recommend just um, doing the steps that I told you is going to help in a major way. Uh, but yeah, so I got a pension, got a Pharisee, I got a Pidioto. <laughs> oh, Charmander. Star you. Hello, Lisk. Uh, Galvan, uh, Gal Galvantula. <laughs> Fight. Nita. <laughs> Nidarina. Doe blade. There you go. Anybody wants it? Uh, it's yours. If I can focus, focus. <laughs> Next. <laughs> but yes, um, so if I do recommend joining the groups, Pokemon Trade Complaints and Pokemon Trade Feedback, you're going to get information that you would not otherwise get if you were not in those groups. Uh, of course, we do do our best. We do do. We do our best to inform admins anytime we run into a problem person. Uh, so we remove them from our community, and I not only help in Pokemon, I help in other communities as well. As you can see, I have a lot of interests. Um, but, nonetheless, uh, some admins don't always do their stuff. So, um, it does help to be in the know. Let's see here, Charmander, Mankey. Little, little kitty, kitty mew mew. Emulga. Stay right there. <laughs> Mary. Nita. Alone Executor. Dark Energy. Gold Duck. Dana. Spiritum. And. Oh, blip, 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 blip. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know you wanna. Let's see. There it is. Anybody that wants that code, you're welcome to it. Um, I think I covered everything I wanted to cover. And uh, got some cool cards to play with. And I got Detective Pikachu! <laughs> but yes. Uh, oh, and in case you're wondering, yes, this is the lovely face that is behind the camera. Um, I, I'm not a camera person, so typically you just see my hands and the action figure that I'm showing. But, um, yeah, today, because of the subject, I decided to get on camera and say hi, everyone, and, uh, and talk serious. Uh, so there you go. This is Skywarp's Hangar, and um, if you like our video, please click like. It's right down there. And uh, please subscribe. It's right over there. And uh, come in and hang out with us. <laughs> you guys have a great day.